everyone, Fru here. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to be looking at a no code app builder. So we're going to be looking at how to build an app from scratch without writing a single line of code. There are a lot of people out there that have business ideas, startup ideas, but the problem is either one, they don't have the cash to go out and pay for a native app developer to build them an app, which can go into the thousands or tens of thousands of dollars, even hundreds of thousands of dollars, or two, they don't have the skill or the time or the passion to learn how to code themselves so they can go out and build their app. But what if, what if there was a way for you to quickly, to quickly build an app that you can use around the idea you've been working on. Now, no one is saying that this app could be something that would potentially, you know, work in the market and scale to millions of users and such, but at least it can give us a starting point, an MVP, a minimal viable product that you can use to, to test your idea, to test the feasibility, to test your design and to at least have something to go with. So guys, this is powerful, if not revolutionary to say the least. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to build an app. We're going to use a platform called Glide and Glide allows users to build an app from scratch. So we're going to be spending some time in Glide and walking through this platform that allows users to build an app from scratch. But here's the catch, guys. Here's the catch from a Google sheet, from a Google sheet. So a lot of us, many of us out there, we have Google documents, right? They say Excel is, you know, one of the most versatile application that was ever invented or spreadsheets in general. We know Excel is really for Microsoft, but spreadsheets in general is very powerful. A lot of decisions are being made on spreadsheets. A lot of companies have spreadsheets everywhere and not just companies, individuals. So here's an example of a spreadsheet that I have. And this is a spreadsheet that I had been collecting for, uh, for a while, but though I realized that this spreadsheet was just sitting on my Google Drive and it wasn't really helping anybody. All right. And the data in this spreadsheet was basically some TED videos I had watched and some maybe some podcasts. Some of it is just mock up data I, I put in there for the sake of uh, building the app. But you can imagine you have a spreadsheet like this with maybe information, recipes, uh, contact information, uh, your schedule for the week. All right. And, and all the kind of information that we collect around spreadsheets, your inventory of the house, right? Uh, planning for a trip, we can collect all that information in spreadsheet. But usually, usually that spreadsheet just sits in, uh, in our drive, in our uh, environment, and no one is using it. Nobody's using it. This spreadsheet for me was literally on my drive. And I once in a while, I'll come in there and refresh my mind on the videos I had watched. But what if I wanted to share this and make it available very easily to expose this data to other people? I couldn't. I just could not. One option would be to maybe, you know, go hire a developer to build an app for me. All right. And pay lots and lots of money. But I mean, given all the priorities I have, that would not be one of my priorities to be doing that. The second option is to maybe share this document and share the link to people, but we know people don't like just looking at spreadsheets. They're going to get bored to the teeth, right? Unless you're an accountant or somebody that really likes to spend time looking at spreadsheets, people don't like this, but you know what people like? They like apps. People are on their phones. They are on their mobile phones all the time. And so what if we can take this spreadsheet and with a few clicks, literally minutes, and this is, we're going to see this today, literally minutes, turn this, this spreadsheet that is, you know, complex and difficult to look at into an easy app that anyone can use. And here's the, here's the catch. It's all going from this data. I don't have to create a database. I don't have to spin up servers somewhere. I don't have to, you know, get new infrastructure. I don't have to spend a lot of money to pay for, for a developer. Guys, this is a game changer. This is a game changer. All right. I know there are a lot of products in the market in addition to what I'm going to show here, which is Glide. There are, you might see other things like AppSheet and some other things. But for today, we're going to talk about Glide uh, because of the ease of use. It's really, really a game changer. So very powerful. If you have an idea of building an app, you definitely want to watch this video. Now, let's say before I move on, knowing that my background is as a technology professional, what I'm going to say here 
would be almost looked at as taboo, right? Warranting uh, pun corporal punishment uh, for me, if I have to say that. And, <laughs> and here's what I mean by that. All right. Saying that an app runs as a, uh, using a, a spreadsheet as a database, you know, a lot of technology professionals will not like that. They, they would just think that that's just ludicrous. All right. So again, I have to caveat here that, you know, we're not building a, a technology ecosystem here for, for, for start. All right. This is really to prove an idea, something simple to get out there and put in people's hand. Now, if you're going to scale, right, of course, what I'm, this approach would definitely have some limitations. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. This approach might have some limitations. So at that point, you might want to look at maybe building a native app or, you know, doing something more robust or using a database and things like that. But from the beginning and for a vast majority of people, this is like democratizing apps to everyone. All right. So there is really no excuse at this point not to have an app if you really want to have an app that you build by yourself. So with that caveat said, let me uh, uh, just um, switch screens here. Before we go into building that app, here is uh, something to think about. All right. Uh, here is something to think about. Let me bring this over to the this screen. Also, one of the things I wanted to show today, I went again on Google and I searched for startup coder. All right. Like a startup developer. And this is what most people think about, right? Somebody that can, you know, open up a terminal or, you know, an IDE and write code in Python or Scala or, 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 or Node or Angular and things like that, right? And a lot of people who have business ideas really have no interest in being coders, or being programmers, all right? So we know there are a lot of startup founders that are coders, but what if you have an amazing idea, right? You have an amazing idea, but you really don't want to write code what are the options that you have in the past? Like I mentioned a little bit earlier, people would just, you know, have to go shell out that money or hope to raise some funds to build an app. Now you can do it right at your fingertips. So that said, we're going to switch over into Glide's app and you, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. So check it out. So this allows you to create an app from documents that you have on your Google sheet. That's all they do. Very specific. So, the first thing that we come here is the website. Uh, of course, there's some pricing. You can look at templates. They do have templates that are in here. The one that really, uh, uh, I mean, depending on what you're trying to do, right? You might, if you have something of a city guide or uh, you're doing like a tour company, you can kind of use that. All right. There's a conference uh, template. There is a personal budget uh, uh, app template, which you can use. And the whole idea is, you know, you don't want to reinvent the world, right? Usually I'm a fan of, you know, not reinventing the world if I don't have to. So if you're trying to do something, you want to pick a template that's relating to what you're trying to do and then just simply elevate or just simply uh, customize to meet your needs. So lots of lots of templates here. Uh, and I believe people can submit templates. All right. So that said, I am going to sign in. Uh, let me just move this to the other screen. I'm going to sign in to my username and my password. All right. I believe I was signed in already. So once you go in, if you don't have an account, you can go ahead and create an account and then you can go ahead and sign in. Now, uh, once you sign in, you can create a new app from a sheet or you can choose a template. So what I'll do here is I'm going to create from a template and then I'm going to show you this particular one that I did. And I thought it was really cool. Uh, that way you can really see for yourself. All right. So Let's say we choose a template. So let's go from template. Now, this app I want to create would be a budgeting app. And this is really to kind of manage the budget, right? Especially at this time, people's budget, you know, we're facing budget constraints and things like that. So I want something that can really help me keep track of my budget and how much money I'm spending. All right. You can come through here. You can see just an amazing array of, uh, of templates. There was one on, let me call this one out, right? Uh, given what we have going on right now, depending on when you're watching this video, I don't want to call the name, but um, somebody put together this particular one, which was to be uh, resources. Actually, I don't think that's it. Let me find, you can search. Can you search? Yep, I think. Yeah, so you can see people are putting a lot, lots and lots of uh, apps out there uh, related to that. So given the situation that we're facing, 
you know, it's an opportunity to maybe be very helpful. Again, I don't want to call the name uh, of what we're going through. Uh, the virus, I think I'll use that. That's fair enough. All right. So this is the one that really interests me, this particular app. And you can maybe take some time to go through and see what interests you uh, for, for your particular scenario. So I'm going to go ahead and preview that app. So this is a budget app and it allows you to maybe manage your finance and all of that. All right. So if you, you know, look at this as a home tab, there is an expense tab and this is how it looks on the mobile. This is how this will look on the mobile. So there is an expense tab and there is a category uh, tab. All right. And if you're interested in this, you can certainly uh, take that. If I go back here, I think that one was that one is good. Let's find, see if we can find some more. All right, remote work, right? This one, remote work. I think this is another interesting one that I like. Um, you know, say a lot of people are working remotely now, right? And this app could be was created to provide resources for people working remotely. So here you can see all the tools that you can use to work remotely, a list of tools, and it has images, right? You can click on the essential ones. You can click on how to's and see how to's. And if you click on that, you can go down into the details. You can see about who created this app and just overall powerful. And then you can come in here, you can share the app, you can uh, brainstorm, uh, resources for brainstorming. Uh, office, you can look at your office locations. So just an overall powerful app, not too complex, your basic functionalities. And all of this data that we're seeing is coming from a spreadsheet. So that said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this template, assuming that I wanted to customize this. I'm going to copy this template. Now I will have a copy of this template available within my Glide apps workspace and I'm ready to customize. All right. And here is where the customization uh, it comes into play. You can customize this from zero to a fully functional app without writing a single line of code, without writing a single line of code. It's just drag and drop. No code. All right. No code. So just imagine, and I, I use this example already. Just imagine that if, you know, in the past we had Excel. All right. Imagine just let's play for as an example. Right now, if I want to use you know, spreadsheet. I keep calling this Excel, but it's really spreadsheet. Imagine if I wanted to use spreadsheet. Every time I want to use spreadsheet, I had to go hire a developer to uh, come to my, uh, to, to spin up uh, some machines, some servers, to install some software in there, uh, to install spreadsheet and to set it up and to customize it for me to be able to use basic spreadsheet. All right. No one is going to use spreadsheet. All right. I, I just think that that would be ludicrous. That's not where the world is going. But for some reason, for, for some reason, it seems almost to be OK. All right. It seems almost OK that, you know, if you want to build an app, you have to go hire an army of developers to build that for you. But we don't do that for spreadsheets. So why? Why is it that for apps? It hasn't been made easy. It hasn't been democratized. It hasn't been, you know, just drag and drop the way I can just drag and drop things on my spreadsheet and I focus on my business needs versus setting up a spreadsheet. I think that's the motivation behind uh, Glide. And that's really why it's a game changer, ultimately. That's why it's really a game changer. Because now thousands or millions of people that are sitting on these spreadsheets, guess what? They're going to start turning this into apps and exposing it. All right. You can now everybody can own your app and hopefully that's what you get out of this. All right. So let's let's continue. I created this. I, I know the piece of actually building the app will be straightforward. So that's why I'm spending a lot of time to talk about the motivation. All right. I know once you get your hand on this, I think I spent like 30 minutes, uh, 30 minutes on it or 15 minutes. It was so easy. I, I, I was just more focused on the motivation. So that's why you hear me talking a lot about the motivation. So now. We have this app. Yeah, ready? Let's assume that we wanted to customize. All right. There are really two ways of customization. We can customize uh, the tabs that we have available. So these are the tabs that are showing up, uh, showing up here. And then we can customize the layout. So let's say if I didn't like the names of the tabs here, this one says all, all tools, essentials, how tos and about. Let's say if I didn't like that, I will go into tabs and that's where I'll, con I'll configure that. All right. Let's say if I didn't like the name essentials, and I wanted to change that, you can go ahead and, and customize it uh, that way. All right. So you can change, say, uh, important, for example. 
let's say if you do want to say essential we want to say important i can just type that and you can see now i have my button is, is changed to important and now that's what shows up there for my users if i don't like that button if i don't like the icon there i can come and say all right let's find uh an icon that might be different boom right there we can change it guys this is a game changer i don't have to hire a developer and pay them you know hundreds i mean i'm a developer i used to be a developer you know i'm not the goal is not to talk people out of jobs here right but at the end of the day even being there, some people can have this in their hands and go out and build apps i think that you know you know that would be better for a lot of people too and then the, the developers can focus on things that are more important than just changing buttons on screens right then developers can focus on actually building this thing right building the building building the glide app or the app that builds apps right that's what developers really focus on it's just like spreadsheet hasn't put developers out of works right developers just focus on building the spreadsheets and spreadsheets help people do their calculations all right so uh it's really really a paradigm shift that this is this is bringing all right so you can go ahead and customize all of this so that's customizing the tabs uh very straightforward you can go ahead and customize this uh, areas too as well if you want to uh very straightforward now the next piece that you might want to customize again i'm not going to customize all of this is the layout right this is really where a lot of work goes into customizing the layout okay and because all of this is coming from uh from the spreadsheet it becomes so easy once you set it up you're just simply updating your spreadsheet so let me show how we can customize some of this all right so let's say we have this um image here and i don't like this image i wanted a different image but you can see you can change the components that are here right i can change it to make it a list i don't like that tiles i don't like that calendar it's not the calendar map nope it's not a map checklist nope what is it is detail so that's really what that component is about and you can kind of uh, be flexible with that a little bit now these are images if you see i select that that image it shows me exactly where that's coming from so i can select the image and uh i can change the way it shows i can make it bigger smaller and such okay one to one all right i believe that's how it was and and that's really about it all right that's really about it and now you can put the conditions in here to say show this image if some cr criteria is met all right and so this is more getting into more complex uh, kind of scenarios but i don't want to put that condition all right sometimes you might want to show an image only if it's at, or you want to show a value only if some condition is made you have the control over there all right it's just like programming like if con if else kind of conditions in programs right programmers do that all day long and that's almost doing this with a drag and drop no code all right um so now let's actually do something uh that is nice all right so we know that this image is coming from remote kit all tools image how tos and about right you can see those images but where is this image coming from this is where we can go now and look at that data if i click on data the data tab here it shows me where that data is coming from and this is the data it's coming from this from these tabs in the spreadsheet but you're asking where is the spreadsheet this spreadsheet lives in the Google Drive where I created my account. All right. So this spreadsheet lives in that Google Drive where I created that account. And you can kind of click and see uh, see the spreadsheet. Now, if you want to edit the spreadsheet, let's say if I went back here and I know that these are the images that are showing and I want to change this, I can go ahead and uh, edit the spreadsheet. All right. It's going to take me right into my Google Drive. So this is my Google Drive. I'm in my Google Drive now. This is where that spreadsheet resides because once I created the app, it made a copy of the spreadsheet in my Google Drive. So now I can edit the spreadsheet directly. Let's say this is the image, right? I can look at this image and say, let's say that was the image and I don't like that image. Okay, I'm going to bring my own image. I have my own image somewhere that I'm going to bring to replace that with. Uh, I think I have an image in uh, in Google Drive, which I am going to bring. So uh, I was out hiking not too long ago and I had this image. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that. So this is the image I brought. All right. Let me paste this on the screen. So this is the image I brought. 
So I was uh, out hiking and you know took this by the river, which is really nice. So now I want this image to show there. All right. Just imagine if I had to send an email to a developer to update my app and do all of that, that would just be un unbelievable. All right. But now as you know, everyone can be their own developer. I can just simply come here. All right. Paste that, that image link and boom, voila, that, that is it. Nothing more. All right. You can go ahead and change all of these other images if you want. But if I go back to my app and let's go back to the, the tabs themselves. And right there, you see my image has been updated. All right. That image has been updated. So it's as simple as that. And if I wanted to update all the other images with the same image, all right, you, I mean, I don't see why I would do that, but if you really wanted to do that, you can just go ahead, boom, you do that. And all your images, as soon as that saves, uh, this reloads. And now I got those images there. And that's kind of what I really want, right? I mean, you might want to design the images a little bit better to, to fit the context of your app. Right. Maybe you're doing uh, pastries, you're selling fitness uh, routines, right? Or you have a travel agency, whatever it is. All right. And I even see business opportunity here for people to go out and build apps for businesses that need apps. And you can reduce the cost of building a, an app for a business. All right. You know, thank me in the comment section below if, if you found that helpful and you end up, you know, making a business out of it. All I'll ask, come back and thank me also. That, that's all. All right. Because now I, I, this is a massive business opportunity. Think about the doctors. Think about the, the local chiropractic professionals. Think about the local mom and pop shops that, you know, maybe they were just on Facebook and they, they made it to Instagram and they never thought about an app because, you know, when they went to uh, the, 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 the software development firms, they, they quote them about 40000 for for an app. Now you can come and do that for you know a quarter of the price and still give them something functional plus they all they need to do is go into a spreadsheet which most people already do and they can just update things here and there change a few titles and you see me do all of that and then voila their app is updated their their menu is updated their recipes are updated and users are just using the app because everybody's on the mobile phone people don't go on websites anymore so why are people building websites when you could be building apps all right so Good, good business opportunity there. If you're watching to this point, I'm happy because you got this germ, right? So that's it. Let's continue. The customization can continue. Uh, let's say I'm done with my home tab. I can go into this tab. There are all the tools because this particular one was talking about all tools, all right? Of course, you can, once you come in here, you can see the, 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 the particular areas of the screen. All right, let's say if I wanted to change that image, we've seen how to change image already. All right, if I go now, this is a rich text. I can go ahead and edit this text. Say YouTube tutorial video app businesses, something like that. I mean, you might want to write something more, more creative than I do. And then you, you have it right there. Okay, now I'm kind of writing the, this here. Ideally, once you really start putting together your app, I, it would be a good idea to not write it here, but to get that information coming from a database, right? So to do that, you can say, instead of just making it a custom thing that you write here, you can go ahead and say, all right, let me get it from data. And then from that data now, you can go ahead and pull it from uh, someplace in your database, all right? And so that might be the best approach, right? Let's say category, for example, which I don't really wanna show category, but now it's gonna pull category from my database or my, I call it a database, but it's really a spreadsheet from my spreadsheet and that's what it's going to show here. So, and the reason why you might want to do that is because then somebody can change that from the spreadsheet and you don't have to come back into this editor to do anything, right? So as much as possible, if you can offload a lot of this kind of custom text into, into the spreadsheet, to spreadsheet, the better, the better, I think the better, okay? But this is just an example of, of, of how that works. And then you can put a condition here as well. We talked about conditions. And then this is a list. All right. So now, basically, this is this is what we have. So this is the list of tools that are in my spreadsheet. And again, this whatever data you have, whatever data you have, you can build the app from it. Right. It doesn't have to be this particular scenario. So but assuming that I wanted to list out all these uh, things from my spreadsheet, and these are the, the, the criteria, these are the columns, and then the list of the images, 
all right now here we're adding an in this adds an in list an in list all right so if you click on that in list and let me go back how to add that assuming you wanted to add it you just go add all right you can find whatever it is you're adding you might be adding an in list you a relationship uh, relation is a little bit complex i'll skip that you can add a date an image a chart uh you know guys everything is just drag and drop right you really don't have to get any complex uh than this uh you can add a video uh let's say i want to add a video right at the bottom of this okay you can go ahead and add a video to it and what what video is it that you want i'm gonna come up with my channel bring up my channel here my youtube channel all right so this is my uh youtube channel at the point of this let's say i posted a video recently let's say i wanted to uh you know show that video there let me just pick one random video from my side okay you can go ahead now and it's going to ask for the video url okay then you can choose either from a database uh, for that to come or or you can choose the column from the database or from the spreadsheet bear with me i keep using database as spreadsheet you know it's hard to teach an old doc new trick i've always known databases so spreadsheets are kind of new to me but i think it's powerful so if i'm using database just think this is what i'm referring to this is a spreadsheet that's why i keep calling a database just because i come from the world of databases all right so yeah so now if i had a column in here uh with my uh urls i would link that column to to uh to this and i will add the video all right uh, so th that example did not quite work the way i want but hope we get the idea so in list this is the object that we have and then once you come in there you can decide how the list shows you can change it to compact tiles right if that's how you want it to show wow i i, I just really just want to jump up and touch the ceiling when I, I do this because i'm just like this is easy this is easy anyone for the most part most people can do this in like literally in minutes you can do this you can put together an app that is really really appealing all right by just simply clicking and changing your layout without having to write any single line of code let's see map object all right i don't know what this is mapping on the screen but you know I, I, you can make an app to show the places that you've traveled in the world how powerful would that be all right so that's a checklist you can make an app for people to check in for a social event, right? When they come in, they can check in, all right? And at this point, since that's a checkbox, they can check things and you can save all that information into the spreadsheet, okay? And this just makes Google uh, Forms look like a child play, for, I, I, at least to me, because typically people will create Google Forms and send out for feedback. Now you can just send a link for an app and they can, uh, you can gather that information because all this information gets written to that app gets with you see now it's changed that to a checkbox so i don't want that if i change if you see beautiful.ai that is beautiful.ai right now if i go back and i check that okay you can see at some point it's gonna go back and write on that it's gonna refresh that data and write to this there you go right boom voila okay collecting that information almost real time that's not what i want i want the list all right or maybe the compact list okay i think this this is kind of okay i don't i don't mind this all right so that's that and then on that list when you click on the list what happens now it takes us into the detail page all right and you can set all of all of this up you can set all of this up which one is this crowdcast let's go back one more time let's look at a table a table is this so let me paste that video here so that's my video all right so if you go back here Okay, because I can click on a table. I think it takes a little one or two seconds for that to refresh. If I click on a table, all right, you see it's come here and voila, that's the video. If I click on that, it takes me now and it plays that video. All right, but of course, if you're on mobile, it's gonna play it on your mobile. All right. And this video was talking about 10 creative ways to apply for tech jobs 20. 10 creative ways to apply for tech, job, tech jobs in 2020. All right. So I hope this is giving us an idea and giving some inspiration. Guys, I can go on and on in being able to customize this. All right. It talks about important and this one shows you just the important selections, how tos, 
again it gives a list you can customize all of this information very easy very straightforward you can send an email you can send an email again very easy very straightforward all right let's uh let's uh, see now once you're ready what do you do once you're ready with your app all you gotta do is go ahead you click share and you can publish that app and what it will do is it's going to provide a link uh, you can send it to your phone it's going to give you a link all right let's call this uh, uh through uh, coach through louis all right let's see that's the name of my app right if yours was like fitness fitness for all something like that whatever it is your business is about you can just give it a name uh send this link to a phone and once you have that link on the phone then you can just access the app on the on the screen of your phone i'm gonna leave a picture of what mine looks like on the phone on my phone all right guys so i hope this was helpful i hope this was very helpful i think this is a game changer this is a game changer the idea of no code applications no code applications all right uh what i did here to uh uh, for my the customization I did, uh, this is the app. If you guys want to see the app, all right. So I took that information and I was able to create an app which I call the Inspire Nation Resource App. And as part of this, I you know I you know show the videos that I like, I show the books that I like, the, the some of the podcasts. All right. So now somebody can have this this app and they can follow with some of the videos that I think are amazing. All right. I don't. I'm not going any, anywhere with this app. It was just more of a proving of a concept okay but you can start getting an idea of what to do with this okay how to's uh, about you can see about in here uh if you wanted to contact me i just did all the customizations uh right within the spreadsheet so if you see the about i just did all the customizations in here okay so very easy very straightforward anyone uh can really really do this anyone can do this if you've been sitting on the sideline with that business idea maybe this is just the time uh to take it to reality and you don't need to spend ten thousand dollars you don't need to spend a hundred thousand dollars to hire a team of developers now take that spreadsheet and give it wings give it more power so people can start seeing that information unleash all those ideas unleash all those recipes unleash all those concepts that you've had hiding in spreadsheets buried in spreadsheets that no one can can get access to guys pull them all out Pull them all out and create an app for yourself. And who knows? Who knows where you might take that to? All right. That might become the next Instagram. All right. For all we know, I, I would hope. All right. That might become the next WhatsApp. I'm sure the guy who created WhatsApp started with an idea to build an app. Okay. And even if it doesn't scale to WhatsApp, at least it might help, maybe help five or ten people. It's still helpful. All right, guys. So there you have it. There you have it. I know this was... Uh, a presentation no app uh, builder i hope hopefully you've had some ideas more importantly hopefully you've had some inspiration i think that was really the motivation behind this video uh, not just to show what can be done but the, the important thing here more than anything is the possibility especially when you're talking about apps and such right it's really the possibility and how you can run with it just to recap why is this a game changer and why is this so powerful number one a frictionless a frictionless way of being of uh, building an app using spreadsheets that everyone already knows how to use spreadsheets there are companies that are literally run on spreadsheets today they will not admit it but they, are, they know that if you take away their spreadsheets they might be out of business very quickly all right their customers their recipes and almost everything that, that they do is on spreadsheets so why not make it easy to access that spreadsheet remove the friction frictionless spreadsheets are ubiquitous almost everywhere everyone uses spreadsheets whether you're talking about google sheet um, microsoft with uh, excel you know there and tons of other ones out there people are already using spreadsheets so everybody knows it is democratizable anyone because spreadsheets are everywhere now everyone can have that power to go out and be an app developer just imagine just imagine all right anyone can be an app developer okay now uh some might say all right it's a joke right that what do you mean scalable can that really scale can i have an app that would handle two billion users 
all right guys if you get to a point where your app requires you to handle 2 billion users then i think you've got other problems to worry about than just having an app all right at that point go look for a different solution all right we'll not be talking about microsoft here we're not going to be talking about google sheets at that point i guarantee you that you will have other problems to worry about all right those will be first world problems that you have to worry about and so you know the excuse that well this is not going to scale so i can't even try it it's just a lame excuse all right because that's not the point you can always start small you can work with this and then if skill becomes your issue then that's actually a, a problem that you want to have that will be a, a good problem that you really want to have at that point and you can discuss it at that point so i included scalability in here because i know a lot of people would want to you know push, uh, push back and say all right this is not going to scale right how many data or how much data can i handle in a spreadsheet right well, the amount of data you currently handle your spreadsheet, that's what we're going to be able to handle. And that's the starting point. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, uh, please uh, uh, like it. Yeah. If you have any comments, leave that in the comment section below. I'm going to leave a link to this app, uh, glideapps.com. I don't think there's any affiliate, so it's just going to be a link uh, to it. But check it out. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. I'm always out looking for interesting uh, ideas, tech solutions, putting it out there to hopefully, you know, educate, inspire, entertain us, you know, around technology tips, career advice and inspiration. So thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate you being with me to this end, to this point. And through here, have a good time and I'll see you in the next video.